Good afternoon, everybody. This is Sabrina McElroy reporting live from her old Kentucky home right here in Richmond, Kentucky, with some exciting news that she that I am going to share with you about our process of our problem of practice that we have been working on at our school in Breathitt County for the past year. Several of the things that we have focused on this year revolve around getting better parent and community involvement, as well as growing our teachers in our building to be the strong leaders that I know all of those have inside just dying to get out. So what I focused on this year and my team as we discussed, as we were setting our professional growth plans last year at the end of the school year, we really talked about those things that we really professionally wanted to grow as, and we wanted to create a micro credential, credential um, experience around so that we could grow our leadership and have some experts in the building that we could reach out to for leadership capacity for um, longevity. So I challenged through one-to-one -one conversations with each of my staff to choose a micro-credential that they really wanted to focus on and earn as they worked with their students throughout the course of the year. Um, another thing that we did to build that community and parent relationship is working with our Youth Service Center. We really um, focused on some parents that we thought we could get some parent groups involved with and invited them into our school to allow for some more parent input. So um, once a month, we had a parent meeting where we invited parents in, different groups, to talk about and discuss various topics and get their opinions on some things that were going on at the school. So today presenting with me, as you can look around my home, I am doing just what the governor said, and I am maintaining my social distancing. So you are going to see just some short video clips from some of my team members talking about how they have grown professionally as we have worked alongside each other this year in our professional growth plan and growing leadership capacity at Highland Turner. So if you stay tuned, we're going to tune in to a couple of my um, fellow co-workers, my third grade teacher, Miss Karen McIntosh, and my fourth grade teacher, Miss Amanda Turner. And they're kind of going to share a little bit about their journey with their micro credential and their professional learning this year. One of the things I wanted to focus on for my PGP this year was to get my students more engaged and more motivated. So I set out trying to find a micro credential that might would help getting my students motivated with their learning, and I came across one called eSpark Learning. So I set up the my kids with an account and they got to take a pre-assessment at the beginning, which allowed them to be able to work either on their grade level below grade level, or even as enrichment, let them work above their grade level. One of the things that I really liked about the eSpark app was that at the end of their unit, he allowed them to take a video of themselves teaching a lesson about a problem that they were given, or if it was reading, they had to compare to text and had to contrast um, the characters or the settings in the story. So that was one of the things that I really liked because it allowed them to take ownership of their learning. Um, my students really got motivated because they wanted to try to compete with each other to see who could get the most high fives. And that really got them engaged and they wanted to do the eSpark learning all the time. And I think that this micro-credential helped uh, my students because they showed lots of growth on the last MAP test we took in the winter. Every student in my class made gains on their MAP test of at least three points or more. And I think that this really helped me become a better teacher because it allowed me to see what motivates my students. And I think a little competition always helps me get them motivated to learn. So. Um, I was really pleased that I chose this micro-credential to uh, go along with my PGP. Hello, I'm Amanda Turner, and this is my 17th year of teaching, but it is my very first year at Highland Turner Elementary School. And while I was very excited for this new adventure in my career, I soon realized that there were programs being used at Highland Turner that I had never used before. So for my professional growth goal for 2019-2020, I decided to focus on demonstrating knowledge of resources to help move students learning forward. At the beginning of the year, Mrs. McElroy started our weekly coaching sessions and they have continued throughout the year. During those coaching sessions, we have put strong emphasis on student data. One of the pieces that we were asked to bring to each week to our coaching sessions with Mrs. McElroy 
was our data around our Plan, Do, Study, Act model that we utilize at Highland Turner Elementary School. I particularly enjoy looking at the Act portion of the Plan, Do, Study, Act. Because that is where kids are asked to provide us feedback. And that is where we as educators and at Highland Turner, Ms. McElroy works hand in hand with us in every step along the way. She is phenomenal. But that is where we as educators are asked to show how what we have used has helped move student learning forward. And we get to show the students that we truly value their feedback and their input. When students see that they have an, an input or a choice in their learning, they begin to take ownership of their learning and that truly helps them to grow leaps and bounds. So in analyzing the ACT portion of the Plan to Study Act, Mrs. McElroy and I quickly realized that students were really engaged when it came to cooperative learning strategies, or anything that utilized technology. So our next step was to look at what micro-credential could I use to help me become more familiar with technology resources to amp that engagement even more. So through, work, through the work with micro-credentials, I have discovered so many wonderful technology tools that has really improved student learning. And I will always use these tools from this point on. It's not something that I just use to earn this credential. I have loved working on this micro-credential because it was, it, the sole focus was communicating to improve students' learning with, by using technology resources. So how could we best support student learning in a digital learning environment. So some of the favorites of my students were a Google app called Jamboard, and that can be utilized in many different ways, but their favorite way is when you just post a prompt, prompt and let them add a sticky note to answer. They love grabbing their own sticky note and moving it around the page to respond to a prompt. Another digital tool they have really enjoyed is Google Meet which is a part of our Google Classroom work. They love getting online and talking to each other virtually. We discuss stories, we discuss our math strategies, we have shared science projects, we have talked about social studies lessons, we've worked whole group online when we were at home, I've had kids message me, they're home working on math and they're stuck and they really need help and say, can we have a Google Meet? So they are asking for these resources to be used. It's phenomenal. Another thing I have discovered that has been really fun is Flipgrid. Flipgrid is, allows kids to create videos to demonstrate their learning, and then you can respond by using a video to give them effective feedback. So I can definitely say that this micro-credential has changed my teaching practices, and it has truly, truly increased student learning. So I would highly recommend anyone to work on a micro-credential and totally embrace the work because when you see your kids light up with excitement, you see their misconceptions decreasing, you see the value and the worth of the work that you put into earning that micro-credential badge. Plus, micro-credentials provide you with some evidence that you are working to improve yourself professionally. Thank you. Wow, I know you are as excited to hear that great information that you just heard from my fellow staff members that work alongside me each day right in the trenches. Um, I do want to share a little bit of data. As we started out when we talked about our data, we were going to track some map data um, versus some Avery data from, from everything from uh, progress monitoring once a week, monthly, or bi-weekly. And I do want to let you know to report back that in these two ladies' classes in grades three and four, that um, all, every student except for two in both of those classes, so we're talking about um, 52 kids, so about 50 of those 52 kids um, went from, a, from five to 35 points in both reading and math. So they grew that much 
just from the fall map to the winter map and I was so looking forward to seeing how much more they grew in the spring. So we're going to keep on working with our students and we're going to keep on growing those leaders and making sure that our students get the best that they can get. And we want to say thank you to those parents and community partners because we're going to call on your support again next year and make Highland Turner even better than it was this year. So we are continually striving to be the best that we can be because that's what great tigers do.